how I got involved with the Force and D's Relived. Um, I used to work out in the gym, and Kango Kid from UTFO uh, brought me down to the gym to work out with him, with the trainer Wiz, and Kylo Lundy, who's uh, a family member, a member of the Force and D's, uh, worked out with us. And we won a, we won a, the, the treadmill uh, running and, and talking to each other, and he um, found out that I was involved in filmmaking, and he uh, expressed to me his family interest in making a feature film. So I said, well, listen, maybe um, you have thought about doing a documentary about the family and what happened with the group, and this way it developed some sort of interest. And once you have the uh, the documentary in the can, as well as doing a new CD, that this would generate new interest in the group. And so one thing led led to the next. He gave me a call. Says, "Listen, um, I'm ready to do that to do that documentary." So the both of us put our heads together, and uh, we set out to make the documentary for some deeds we live. It took a certain period of time, the reason being because we had to be able to, have to get and obtain certain footage, which, which wasn't accessible. The group uh, didn't have a lot of material. And also um, to, to line up a, a star cast of these legends, hard to catch up with. And finally, um, we got enough in the can that we were able to, um, to complete the film. Force and Deeds Relive um, was written by um, Kyle Lundy and, and his brother Steve. Uh, they pretty much had a direction on what, where they wanted to take the film. So I got together with them and we pretty much shaped it from the beginning, the middle, and an end to where they to where they wanted at. And, and that was the process. But as far as the archive footage, it just took time. To, to locate a lot of the film and also when you when you're working with budget restraints constraints well, well Kylo and I went back and forth and I said hey you know what does the force in these relive the whole concept is to relive the past and I said I, I told Kylo I said listen this is a good title that I feel that it's right for. So, well, let me let me think about it. Let me think about it, and it stuck. Making the Force and these relive it 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 was a, a awakening call to a lot of the people that were that were interviewed because some things that they they knew about and some things they they it just over a period of time they the group was not being recognized. So this is an important piece of history. So now that once everything is all laid out, um, they should get the recognition that, that they deserve. I said, well, this is a story that, that, that needs to be told because this is the group that actually fused R&B and hip-hop together, which, which later on became hip-hop soul, that you have a lot of these groups like, like, like uh, performers like Usher and Chris Brown and, and Mary J. Blige. And, um, they were the first. They were the first to put this all together.